Uh, again, hate to lose ball games, uh, especially when you know how much your guys put into a game going into it. And, uh, but I'm, I'm really proud of the effort, how they fought, you know, and just to see um, the growth in Parker Brown. Though he, uh, you know, we come up short, he he he'll, he will grow from that game, playing in major minutes down the stretch of a ball game, and I think. Really happy to see Torrance make shots because uh, I know how much time he's put into it. So that part is great, especially for us moving forward. Hopefully, he can continue to capitalize on that. But that was that was good to see. So that's a bright spot for me. All right, we'll go to questions. Uh, Jack Sobel. Uh, Conzo, uh, at the end of overtime, it, it, it's like uh, X kind of just dribbled around and it took a three there. What, what was the plan on the last possession, and what did you think about his shot selection? What was the play we execute? That that wasn't the shot we were looking for. It's a play we execute in practice, so that certainly wasn't the shot we were looking for. But if he had a clean shot, shoot it. But I don't think that was a clean look. Mason. Hey, coach. So Jeremiah Tillman was a pretty late scratch for today. How much notice did the team have before uh, it was announced that he won't be available? Well, we knew there was a death in his family, so you have to respect that. Um, so we understand. Ben Hockman. Um, Coach, with the three-point shots both made and just attempted in general uh, season, was that part of the game plan in general, or when Tillman was ruled out, did that change things with that strategy? Not at all. I think we simply, uh, uh, you know, I think the Auburn game was a game we didn't shoot the three ball well, but we've been shooting the ball well. And this, this is kind of what I thought we'd be able to shoot the ball as a team. We got guys that can make shots. I just think it's, you know, the comfort, relaxing, you know, shooting game rep shots in practice. So, so not surprised with that, but it's also good shots. You know, it's not as if we taking off the dribble, tough three-point shots. We're taking shots that we practice. So that part is good. Um, we don't necessarily have a number, even with or without Tim. We shoot 32 three-point shots, and if he's in the game, it's probably because they doubled him in the post. He had those opportunities, but, but we don't have a specific number, no. Dave Matter? Conzo, you guys still maintain possession, but what did you think of the goaltending call? Was it, is it all kind of deflating when points come off the board at a moment like that? Well, um, again, I thought it was in. I thought it was goaltending. We try to set our defense to get stops and do what we need to do. Um, but then it was our ball. We, 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 we had a play that we wanted to execute. Um, but uh, I, I wouldn't necessarily say deflating is part of it. We still got the ball. We got a possession. We got to execute what we're trying to do. And then you still got to get stops. I thought we did a great job. We were up one. They got a backdoor play. That, that hurt. I think that hurt. That took a lot of air out of our guys because we were positioned for that. And that's something we talked about. Be ready for this. And that specific player, be ready. Uh, so it's unfortunate. Eric Baum. Tom, you kind of mentioned it a little bit earlier, but just to have guys like Parker and Torrens play for some pretty major minutes for you down the stretch, what does it say about you know how they've developed? Well, you're also talking about two guys that are juniors in our program. So if you, at some point you expect them guys to be good players because they time the time they put into it. But but I think a part of that they have to get the reps under the belts. Now, uh, Torrance has been in you know big games before. He's been in a lot of games. You know Parker not so much. So it was great for him, and he'll grow from it. It's because uh, uh, that was a lot of minutes. He had a long stretch, especially when Mitch was out, and then Kobe, had, you know, had uh, was cramping up, so he couldn't go. And I, and I thought Parker did an admirable job. Mitch. Uh, you just kind of answered my, my question about Kobe Brown. Um, I guess uh, at what point did you know he kind of say he couldn't go, and, and what kind of then went into the decision to you know put smaller guys on uh, on Connor Vanover on the defensive end? Well, we like our chance with, with, with smaller guys on him uh, because he's a, he's really a catch and shoot guy, and if you you got to get him off the blocks, make him work. And I thought we did a solid job there. Uh, so so we would rather have it that way, a guy where you can switch with him. Um, we, we, unless we have to, you, we don't really want a traditional big on them. You know, we want smaller guys that can get up on them. We can switch different ball screens because you got traditional bigs. It's, it's, it's tough to stop the ball and then try to get back and recover and defend this three-point shot. Uh, so, so I liked our chance with our guard play. Colin. Coach, what do you think of the team's pick and roll defense, I guess, with smaller guys on the court most of the, most of the night tonight? Uh, it was good when certain people were, were in the pick and roll. For us, it was good when we had certain people on the defensive side in it, but then we had a couple of guys that just weren't as good in it, uh, wasn't gritty enough in it. Uh, but when we had certain guys there, we were good. But it was, a, it, was a, it was a chess match, and we got to give up something to get something. It's just like you hope we can get stops, um, and that's part of it. Andrew? Hello? 
Hello, Andrew. Jack Sobel. Alonzo, how did Mitch's absence uh, impact you guys in overtime? Well, you, you're talking about an experienced guy. And, uh, and, and like I said to him, he, he has to be better at not fouling out in games. I mean, he's a talented player. Uh, and like I say to him all the time, wh where, where do your five fouls come from? You know, in your situation, where you, and, and as an experienced player, you have to be sound in situation. You have to be tough. You have to defend without fouling. You have to move your feet, all those things. And, uh, and, and he'll get it. Andrew, now back to you. Nope. Hockman. Hey, Coach. I uh, just want to ask you about Mark Smith in general. Um, obviously, didn't make any field goals, but can you describe his game overall and some of the things he might have contributed in other ways? Well, the one thing about Mark Smith, he's always going to play with effort. I mean, that's all the time. Uh, I think sometimes, you know, if his shot isn't falling because of the time he puts into it, um, I think it gets to him mentally, you know. And you just have to continue to stay the course, stay aggressive, stay strong. But I think that's what happens when it, when it, when it's not falling, uh, it consumes him uh, because of what he, how much time, how much effort, and how he approaches it, how, how he prepares every morning at a certain time he has his regiment. So that, that can affect you. But, but he always has it, he always has his hard hat on though. Dave, matter. Anza, do, you, do you expect Jeremiah back Tuesday for Georgia? I don't know. Eric, oh. Colin. Yeah, Conzo, uh, did, did, were you surprised that Arkansas didn't call a timeout at the end of regulation? Did you consider doing it at all? Which, which, which play at which time? Uh, it was just a, a, a mess of possessions, I guess, at the end of regulation. Uh, it's, uh, before Parker scored, I guess, or, or before he got the block on the other end, there were no timeouts. Oh, the light, the, oh, in the Ricks, I apologize. I thought you sent overtime. Uh, no, I wasn't surprised because Davis had the ball up the floor, so it wasn't surprised. He had some momentum going to the rim. If he can get a foul and make a play. Parker just made a great play on the ball because he probably had a step. Maybe I think it was X. I'm not sure. But Parker made a great play on the ball. Dave? 